hey girl friends welcome back to another tutorial so today i'm going to share the painting and assembling uh, the necklace set so this uh, set has been uh, like we have created this set in my last video so if you have not watched it then go and see it because it's very simple and you can just create for yourself and you can gift it to your friends as well so as you can see i'm using two colors and that is one white color and the other one is the pearl metallic copper color so uh, for the base part i'm using the pearl metallic copper so i'm going to paint it all over uh, like all the pieces of my uh, necklace so this is going to be the base color this is the first coat that i'm going to use because uh, like the baked product half of the products are like uh, turned black and half are uh, in the color of uh, like brown so the diff the problem will be like if i give single coat the brown color the brown part uh, that has it will have a nice uh, deep deep metallic color but same if i uh, if you see like uh, for the black colors it will have that uh, background black shade it's visible so for a good and nice uh, like uh, proper a balance between these colors we need to give the second coat as well so i'm going to uh, give the first coat first let them dry and then i'll give the second coat So the difference in coloring shade that I was telling you, uh, you'll just see because uh, this is the brown uh, baked product which uh, for which I have given just single coat and it just uh, turned out good like it has a nice deep metallic color that's visible. And the next now I'm going to paint the black uh, piece where you can understand uh, why do we need to have the second coat or else the color will not match with each other like if you're making an entire set then it should match with each other right so if it doesn't uh, match it will not look good so while making a necklace always remember that all your pieces should match with each other like all the pieces colors should match with each other to have a complete and beautiful look for your set so next we are going to paint the back side of the pieces because all your piece like front back everything should be painted it you should not leave it uh, like unpainted it won't look good so with the help of this dotting tool i am going to give uh, the uh, impressions like uh, the white dots so my jewelry is going to look like a polka dot uh, necklace set so for that i'm just using this uh, dotting tool so if you don't have dotting tool you can also use uh, the head pin uh, which has the round uh, like round circular uh, thing like a dotting tool so you can also use uh, with that and for the fine dot uh, you can use uh, the needle or uh, like toothpick so that's that's very easy and convenient you will always have it in your home so you can use that buy to buy if you don't have it
our painting part has been completed and now we are going to start with the assembling part so for that uh, the product that we need handy is first is the gear wire next is the gear crimp lock okay so this is used for like uh, for locking your jewelry's end and then we i'm also using this golden beads and this white beads for like in between to give it a nice look so let's cut the gear wire first i'm just cutting it uh, like without any measurement i know how much it would require for making a necklace so i'm just taking it accordingly so as you can see i have already inserted one piece and then i am just uh, for a nice pretty look i am using the white beads and then a golden and then again a white bead and then again a piece so that is something that will make my jewelry look complete so if you don't have this beads you can use something else like you can use a terracotta bead as well a big one then make a uh, like a medium size bead and you can just insert it in between so i am using this beads if you have it you can always use it always experiment with uh, things that you have that will always create something new for you So as you can see our necklace uh, set is like half ready now we need to uh, close the ends so for that i'm using the gear crimp lock so just insert your gear wire in it and just keep it a light uh, like a slightly uh, not part so that you can insert your dory the dory that we use for a necklace uh, or a hair or anything like for wearing it so you can just use it with that dory so just keep it a little uh, open uh, knot and with the help of this uh, you can say the plier i am just uh, giving it a nice press so that this is locked and yeah the piece is absolutely ready it looks beautiful i hope you have enjoyed this video please subscribe to my channel for more updates